Hi everyone. Okay, it's me again, thinking in my car. I have a really long commute, so I do a lot of thinking while I'm driving, and while I'm thinking about things, I want to give you guys a little bit of words of wisdom. You know, you could take all the lessons and classes and privates in the world, and we'll teach you the skeleton foundation of what you're supposed to do, okay? We'll teach you a few, some styling and give you a system for being able to execute moves, moves etc. The black belt system is amazing um, just because we teach you a system rather than just a pattern, you know? A lot of instructors will teach a pattern and then expect you just to do that pattern. Well, what if she has a broken arm and you can't execute with her left arm? In the black belt system, we teach you options, different options. Like, for example, I'll tell a guy who learned um, a particular pattern at a nightclub and I'll come back and then he'll say, you know, I went over this pattern at, I learned this at the nightclub before the class, you know, and or at the class and then, uh, you know, it didn't really work the whole night. And I say, you know what, let me show you many different ways, 21 different ways of doing the same pattern. And basically that's what a lot of these guys do is they'll take the class, the good guys, okay? They'll take the class and then they'll figure out all the different ways that they can do that same pattern using different parts of her body, you know, touching her shoulder, touching her waist, using her left arm, using your right arm, you know, of executing the same pattern over and over and over again. And I think that's key in really sinking in what you're learning. But the most important thing is that you go out, okay? You gotta go out dancing, all right? If you don't go out dancing, like to clubs every single night of the week or as, as often as you possibly can, no matter what you learn in a private lesson, it's not gonna stick because you gotta go out there and fall on your face a couple times. You gotta go out there and she dumps you on the dance floor a couple times or he says, you know what? You need to take a class a couple times. You say, I am, I'm taking privates, whatever. Your instructor is gonna make you light. Your instructor is gonna make you airy. Your instructor is gonna make you um, think fast on your feet. When I teach ladies, for example, it's not just about the spins and the styling, girls. It's about how to be light as a feather to him, not just some heavy, you know, huge pack of cement that he's got to throw around. And I think a lot of women have the misconception, oh, I'll just get out there. I want to be thrown around a bit. I want to feel like he's bigger than me. I want to be, you know, I want to feel small around him. That's all fine and dandy, but after a while, the guy's going to get sick and tired of lugging your heavy butt all over the dance floor. He's going to be so thankful and so grateful when he can find somebody, a woman, you know, who's close to 200 pounds, but she's as light as a feather, you know. Spinning her is like spinning air, or leading her is like leading air. That's what a lot of guys you know want they don't want to be lugging somebody that's super heavy everywhere you know and so you learn that by going out dancing and if you are super heavy you're gonna have these guys who are gripping you and you're gonna have bruises on your shoulders bruises on your arms like we used to in LA we used to have oh my god we the girls would compare their bruises after songs or after after the night or the next night I'll never forget, we were in the bathroom and the girls were just showing all these guys' thumbprints all over our arms because we're so damn heavy. Once I became super light, a light lead, I mean a light follow, I didn't get as many bruises anymore. I didn't get so exhausted by the end of the night. I wasn't sweating as much. My dancing was a lot more efficient, okay? But I had to learn all this the hard way, all right? Going to New York was even worse. Dang, if I, you know, guys, they wouldn't even want to leave me because I was so heavy. I was taking this huge back step, right? Ladies, we've all been there, right? Taking an enormous back step. And we end up leaning forward most of the song and putting our butts out most of the song because our back step is too big. Well, over time, you start to learn efficiency. And what I guess this video is about is you need to go out dancing and learn how to efficiently conserve your energy stay closer to him not so far away i know in la style you know it's big it's broad it's dynamic it's huge but you know what after a while you just start getting tired you know and i didn't realize that until i started learning black belt salsa style 
which is more of a New York type of style, which is where you don't take such a huge back step, where you're really super light and fast, right? And so um, it's a different technique um, to the dance. When I'm with an LA style guy, I love dancing LA style. When I'm with a New York style guy, I love dancing New York style. And in Black Belt Salsa, we teach both. We teach cumbia, we teach um, on one, on two. We teach, um, you know, most of the styles that are out there, which is amazing. And so um, I highly recommend, number one, bottom line, is that yes, you take group classes, yes, you take privates, yes, you watch DVDs, you know. Um, but also I highly recommend you go out dancing a lot and you just test your feet, you know, test the waters, get your feet wet, you know, and really fall on your face a few times. Guys, you have to go out dancing. Ladies, you have to go out. You can't just stick to your once a week classes or, you know, your private lessons. You need to go out dancing. All right, so that's my little tip for the day, you guys. Make sure you go out dancing, support your local nightclub, support your promoters, and support each other. All right? I hope that helped. All right, I will see you um, hopefully soon. Bye.